Hey everyone, it's your girl, Hey Planner Girl. Hey, welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to be sharing with you the Bay Box. So grab a snack, come on back. This is the Lo Fi box. I'm pretty sure it's the September one. I'll just check. So grab a snack, come on back. Let's see what's inside. Okay, my friends. So this is the October Bay Box and it is featuring the Lo Fi, if you've heard of the aesthetic. And um, aesthetic is a real thing, guys. It's everywhere, let me tell you. And it is, oh, so amazing. It's very grandiose. So um, we're gonna start with basically why I subbed to it. This is me coming back to the Bay Box after so many months. And honestly, <laughs> it was the stencils that got me. I've been really into art journaling, bullet journaling. I have been doing a lot of art collaging and I really loved everything. And before I start, I'm just going to put it out there and I don't mean any offense, but I really thought the colors were a tad bit brighter um, than it was when I received it. But you know what? It's okay. So. There's a lot of pastels, a lot of different pastels, a lot of dirty pinks up in here, oyster pinks, um, you know, some rosewood kind of colors, browns, um, some white lilacs, oh, if you will. Um, let's even put it out there, some like blues, some aquas in there as well. So lo-fi vibes, right? We're talking about some lo-fi tunes, bullet journaling, and I'm not mad at it, um, and I'm quite surprised. I'm not a big fan of rose gold, but I have to say it does look pretty stellar. So first of all, let's talk about the journaling card. I really like this. I like the headphones, the iPad or the phone, and then your bullet journal, your Tombow markers, um, if you will, okay? And the Honey Bee Shop style, and then the different color palettes and stuff like that. I'm loving the laptop. I have to say, it reminds me of one of those like flip agendas back in the day, if you know what I'm talking about. And, um, but it's a cutesy laptop. I love it. And little planner desk and everything. So again, it's a very pastel. It's a very calm color scheme. It's nothing bright. It's very like terracotta colors. Like it's just very calm pastel colors. Here on this journaling card, there's nothing on the back, but it is a browser window untitled AI. It's sort of like a paint program obviously like the old school paint program we're not talking about paint shop pro or photoshop we're talking about old school paint program and then your little color palettes and stuff like that and that's cool i love the moon vibe i love the celestial lo-fi it's pretty stellar so we got two journaling cards i have to say i like this side a lot and what i like to do when i get a babe box is i like to open the paper first and again, um, this is primarily why I stopped subbing to any subscription kit. And that's just because I really don't have so much use for the paper and all of the goodies inside. I've also become not, um, what do you call it? I just, I want to stay away even from happy planner stuff. I just want to support smaller businesses, smaller sticker shops, um, buy cute washi, <laughs> like, I feel like I've been missing out and it's a little overwhelming to have so much happy planner things, um, mostly sticker books because I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of cute C stuff. But anyways, that's my problem. That's my problem, not your problem. Okay, so here we go. Let's get to it. So the paper is beautiful. It is, again, those pastel colors. I'm not going to go through the colors. Everything is matte on this page. It is not a true black. It is a nice gray pastel in here, on here. And as usual, I have to put that out there. Sorry about my nails. I play piano. I don't want to, I don't want to polish them or anything. I love a grid. This is a sandy brown grid. It's, it's quite calming. It's quite calming, I have to say. There we go. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and the next composition is again the, those headphones and phones and you know the 2021 background. I can't lie, I kind of wish the 21 was not on there, but the other side is the same pattern I've seen before. 
it's a nice um, tin man kind of gray on the back and then some white lines very cute and I know some people are like who cares about the 21 I know but I mean it just kind of dates it a little bit and I mean if I'm gonna use this in the future you know here we have those Tombow markers the honeybee style and those are always cute I've been dying to get my hands on some I just don't I just haven't had the, the motivation because, again, I'm really into just art journaling and scrapbooking and just, like, scrap journal, art scrapbook journaling. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Then we got those cute laptops again, except this is in that dusty rose, which is really pretty. And the OK says Make Magic, which is cute. I like the little planner acrylic organizer and the pens and the little books your bullet journals it's oh so magical with those dusty rose pink stars in between and here we go we're coming up to some of my favorite stuff I love an acetate um this is rose gold again those same lines we've seen before in the honeybee shop and then over here are the silver backing to the opposite side so that'll look really cute in anything my mini chunky i love grid okay i'm a big grid person i love grid i love graph paper this is in a rose gold color and the back looks really nice in a silver so when you cut it it's going to look stellar in your planner as a dashboard or whatever you want to do and make with it okay so that is what's good also with the bait box and i will i will share what one of my favorite parts like actually the whole kit is stellar the whole kit is amazing and I'm just gonna go through the sticker book okay there we go and oh, I just got a notification my friend uh, Smolly pocket has just <laughs> opened up uh, a new video and so I'm gonna check her channel out in a few I really like this I really do I like this dashboard I'm gonna I can't wait to like peel it off. I don't want to bend it too much, but what I like to do with these, I cut, I cut it all the way to the binding and then I just kind of use it as a huge die cut. Okay. So let's talk about the sticker book. We got some full boxes. I'm loving the girl with her jeans on her jean shorts, her short shorts. Um, reminds me of the Levi commercial when they're all dancing. I love that. And again, same color scheme. You got all of those beautiful colors, those, you know, dirty pinks and, you know, blues and aquas and lilac, like white lilac and oyster pinks and rose golds and, you know, all that stuff, terracotta feel. It is paired with some rose gold in between. It is done on a matte sticker page. I adore this. I mean, I'm not one to sleep away on my planner desk. I have to say, sometimes my husband and I, he's like, yeah, yeah, we're going to go to bed at like two o'clock. It's Saturday, two in the morning, three in the morning. I stay up like the achiever I am at like 2.30, almost three o'clock because I'm planning away, enjoying my weekend. And then when I'm calling him I'm to bed, he's already fast asleep. So I'm the one who's like <laughs> awake all night. But anyways, dreams and schemes, that's what it sounds like. That's right. That's what's up on a weekend when I stay up late in my planner room slash library. I'm just dreaming and scheming. Love a cassette tape. Oh, yes. I'm that age where we take a pencil and and get the, the film back in. I love this. I have to say, I haven't had a babe box in a while, so I see a lot of new things. Check boxes. I like the washi. Here, some page flags, some smaller boxes at the bottom, which will look really good in a Hobonichi A6, which is my jam now. And I like this as well. All of this is going to look so good in my Hobonichi A6 Techo. I like these date covers and the to-do list and the blanks and stuff like that. The icons are fantastic. That is 
an oldie but a goodie. I like the different color schemes. And again, that rose gold. The water checker, tracker, sorry, <laughs> your meals, paying bills. I love the script and it is again paired with the same color scheme. You also get some date dots and they look fantastic. So that's going to look so good on a calendar view of a monthly. Let me show you my Hobonichi. What I'm name dropping this whole time. This is for 2022. I am so obsessed. I am already trying my best not to plan in it. But something like these, those date dots, will look stellar in a month at a glance. Like so. So I like that. And if this is not your jam, sorry, if this is not what you'd want to put in here, I'm sure you can use it for something else, of course. You can never go wrong with some, some digit cover-ups. Okay. <clears throat> This is to tell you how long it's been. So normally I'm used to the planner cart with the white in between. I am living for this. I'm so happy it's finally come. I hope the next bay box that I am stepping to, which I am, which is the neutral one with the holographic foil, I hope I get like a really cute planner cart with the same thing and then I can use it. I've used it before, but I like how it is now a solid block color. I think that looks so much better love the grid washi and again we have some more sticker die cuts here the planner girls are just living the dream in their planner room with their journal and listening to lo-fi vibes <laughs> oh get out get out get out i love it the spotify vibes and <laughs> i love that i love it oh my goodness I love the sticker die cuts. I think they're so cute. It's a nice size. And that's it. And here you go. October 2021. Lo-Fi Vibes. 10 pages. There is their social media. Great job, Shan. Okay. Let me get some sticker die cuts. Let's go through them. I love me some chunky die cuts. It is so awesome to decorate name pages with, for example. This is how I decorated my Hobonichi name page. This is like bringing it back. This is the first Babe box that came out. I bought the dig I got the digitals with it. So I just reprinted out the digitals and I was able to put it here as my name page. So I love some sticker die cuts. Here we go. Ooh, look at her. I love her. I want to be her. <laughs> We got, oh, do we get double the complexions? <gasps> what? That's fancy. That's fun. I love that. You just got to collect them all. I love that. So you got duplicates of the same girl in the different complexions. I am in love. And this is to tell you the detail, guys. Look at the cloud. If you can see the white characteristics the white detailing there are many stars in between and music notes oh it is such a dream what a dream what a treat I love that and let's get to the rest of them we got some books and a washi stand those are those stellar jeans and I like that it's the Spotify now playing here is this die cut some more I love the calendar. Adorable. One day at a time. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Some deco florals in between. Oh, look at her. She is beautiful. I do that with my makeup. I put like hearts by my eyes. <laughs> Dream. Some Tombow. Some of those. Which one just fell? Oh, it's like a mini tiny marker cute 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 i'm gonna put that here so i don't lose it because i'm trying to have nice things here we go it's another some headphones the florals the spotify vibes playing your lo-fi tunes your paint program some more headphones, a bigger die cut of Make Magic. I love the stamp. That's adorable. The seal. Your phone. It's on Instagram. 
because of course we have to take pictures of our bullet journal love those different colored um markers oh here is a bullet journal and again a paint another marker here is the laptop focus 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 there we go and a bigger paint and a lo-fi girl chilling with her jams so we're not done yet i'm going to share with you why i primarily signed up for this kit it is the stencils that's right um one of my other friends was like you know you can just buy the stencils later when she um I actually had two people tell me this and I'm like, yes, I know. And I know I can buy them on Amazon too, but uh, you know how I do. So I hope you can see that in the frame. It is done on this like, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's not a hundred percent like thick, thick acetate. You know, there is a bit of a wobble for sure. If that is the term. You have your days, which you are supposed to do. So your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I know when Shan was doing her video, she flipped it, but I mean, it's the same jam. So unless the sides, nope, they're both even on either side. So I like that because like I said, I'm, I've been bullet journaling, I've been art journaling, and I really wanted the stencil set. The other stencil you get, you get these huge boxes like so. And what I've been doing, like I said, I've been bullet journaling. I've been using my blackout journal for a few things. Like I use it for recording um, shows that I'm watching. Like this blackout journal is Treehouse of Horror. And that's what I've been doing. I've also been using another blackout journal to just kind of record uh, one of my favorites, Twilight Zone and the shows in between. So I wanted the stencil because obviously after I'm done all the episodes, like, you know, there's other things I can do in a bullet journal. Also, I have other journals. <laughs> so I also want to use this in a regular white paper journal. So I wanted the stencil and I think it looks pretty stellar. Like you can do so much with this. You can write about your day. You can do a to-do list. The options are endless. The last stencil we get is this one. And I don't know why I'm flipping it over. <laughs> it's, you know, oh, I can see why. You got some checks, check boxes, right? Your lists. I love the honeycomb. I've seen it before, but I couldn't say no because it is the honeybee shop. I love the cloud and the heart. And that's what makes the honeybee shop stencil so much more special because it's, it's different, right? It's not like the ones you'll find on Amazon. So I like the different cutouts and I think they look awesome. And it's just going to look so good in my bullet journal. Yes. And of course, if you don't have a bullet journal, if you don't have a journal and you're new to the club, guess what Shan gave us? In the honeybee shop, we get a bullet journal. That's right. It says, believe in yourself. Yes, girl, yes. And there is a rose gold cloud. It is on this beautiful baby pink. This book belongs to, and there are some stars and the honeybee shop. And like I said, I love a name page. So you know I'm going to be using these die cuts to decorate them. Okay. And here is the bullet journal right here, the dot grid. If you can, let me make sure that is focused. If you can see, it is not a true black dot grid. It is a nice, faint, baby gray um, dot grid. So it looks really stellar. I like that the binding is sewn. I bought a bullet journal that was glued. Oh, what a mess. Let me tell you. It just started to um, come apart. It comes with a really nice baby pink ribbon. I'm really not a fan of ribbons in my journal. I, I find like they tend to ruin the page. So I always put it at the back of the journal like so. And it looks really good. I'm not sure how many pages. I think it was mentioned on the website 
but it's a really nice bullet journal, especially if it's just something very simple that you want to do. I'm probably going to plan TV shows in it. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to make this my Golden Girls planner. Not Golden Girls planner when I watch the episodes, I'd record them. I don't know. We'll see. So you're probably like, how else can you decorate it? Well, of course, the Honeybee Shop has given us some washi. Yes. So we got some perforated. I know I'm very weird like this, but I'm not going to open it. Uh, we got some perforated washi here in different colors. I have a lot of grid washi, similar, similar colors that I have. And you can use them as a background because these are the days of the week in hollow, in, sorry, in gold foil, like your Monday, your Tuesday, your Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's going to look really good. I think it's awesome. I love the seal. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to put it at the back of my book because I love to save things. So I mean, hey, cool. But what's so cool is the Honeybee Shop also gives us a ruler and I've been loving little rulers. And check this out. We got a rose gold ruler and it is a really nice ruler. I noticed a lot of people have been talking about it. I've seen some planner girls bend it. I'm definitely not bending no rulers. Um, like just to show the flexibility and I love the icons. I think it's stellar. It is in the inches. Okay. And the inches unit and it looks really good. I'm, I love I love small rulers when I'm bullet journaling. I have these, okay, and I was so obsessive, like I normally am. I I um I bought these from Michaels, and this is from like Walmart, and I think they're awesome. You can never have too many rulers, and of course, no one can use them. Only I can use them. <laughs> I remember one time my dad came over and he was using my ruler. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Um, and he was like working on something. He was repairing something. I'm like, what are you doing? That's a gold, rose gold, gold ruler. All right. We also got this pen like, so there it is. It's a micro perm. Everyone's been talking about it for anybody who's a pen enthusiast. It is that Sukara, uh, ink. Okay. And hold on. That's not focusing. That makes no sense. There we go. For any pen enthusiasts there, there you go. It is a um, zero five permanent, ultra fine, and it looks stellar. There you go. Nice nib. And it's definitely part of like, oh, where's my other ones? I thought I had one like right here. Oh, I can't find it. Like the micro, um, those pens, are, here they are, so silly right here it's like that the um, pigma pens similar so that's pretty neat same brand so yeah anyways we got that i thought that was awesome can never go wrong with too many black pens um and especially when it's ones that you can write on glossy sticker paper last but not least probably one of my favorites i missed out on the washi cutter that's a tombstone so I was so happy and thrilled that this was part of the lo-fi box because I wanted one of these acrylic, um, like snow globes. I think that is so cute. A glitter globe. I think the shaker is stellar. It is that playlist look and inside there's an acrylic. Oh my gosh. The camera's not doing justice. There's an acrylic sparkly, um, cloud heart and star and together there is a metal um acrylic honeybee logo and also a musical note and there is some beautiful holographic glitter in between it is stunning and the camera is not justifying how beautiful this really is i'm telling you and i have never seen a star loop clasp for um something like this and I think that is phenomenal so what I want to do with this is because I love it so much I have two things either I attach it to my Hobonichi so it dangles 
or I might just put it up on my planner wall because I love it so much and I don't actually it looks really good in my planner wall I'm gonna show you what it looks like <laughs> hold on okay I think it looks really stellar right here <laughs> actually who am I kidding I think I'm gonna move it to this side of my planner wall but anyways I think it looks really cute the way it is <laughs> So anyways, my friends, that is our lo-fi honeybee shop bed box. I am so super stoked um, to, to get it. I am so happy. I'm fortunate to be able to purchase it. I have a lot of things and I've been feeling a little overwhelmed with how much planner stuff I have, even though I'm on this thing of using everything that I own, which is great, but I still can't help but feel like I need to stop spending, right? So after the next bait box, which is sort of like their New Year's bait box, I'm going to not be subscribing to the bait box anymore from the Honeybee Shop unless they put out something that's holographical, holographic, like that's my thing. But for now, I think I'm good and I'm ready and I love what I have. And so, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for listening to me. You're probably like, this is just planner girl problems. I know, but it's like, it's a little overwhelming. Does anyone else feel the same? All right. Thanks so much for watching. Happy planning, happy bullet journaling. And I hope I upload this video before the new year and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.